Hello, today in this video I'm going to take you around Dresden, which is the capital city of the German Saxon state. Dresden is among the top travel destinations in the world. It is the 12th most populous city of Germany and among Germans top 10 beautiful and most visited cities. In 5 minutes I'm going to take you to 4 tourist attraction sites in Dresden. If you are ready, come with me and let's go. So the first place I visited was a palace known as the Tvinga Palace because Dresden has a long history as the home and royal residence for many kings and queens who furnished the city with great artistic and cultural sites. So when you got up here, it was very sunny, yeah, it was very sunny. So from the top here, you can have a very nice view of the city. And then there were also people who had come for visit to this palace, yeah, to this palace. And then we met some downstairs and then when we got upstairs to we met some. So this is the palace. And then this is the original site of the palace. But currently there is an ongoing construction. Yeah, that is renovation. So yeah, we couldn't give you that green site you just saw. So this is the construction which is going on now. This palace is very famous, very famous in Germany and then in Dresden as well. Very nicely furnished. It also has a gallery, that's a picture gallery, and then a museum inside. But like I said, there is an ongoing renovation, so we couldn't enter all the rooms. But even upstairs, we had very nice views, and then it was a great experience to see the artistic view of this palace. Yeah, so this is a place where everyone would want to have a picture. As you can see, my friends I went with, yeah, they were taking pictures. This is the side view of the palace very nice one after the palace we are heading towards our next tourist attraction site so we had a walk through the city yeah so enjoy the sight of the city this is Dresden a very beautiful city although it was greatly affected by the Second World War it still looks very beautiful and hey we finally got to our next destination which is the Frying Kirche in English the Church of Our Lady this is a very famous architecture monument of Dresden and then this cathedral was almost completely destroyed in the Second World War. Yeah, but it has been rebuilt and then it was reopened in 2005. We actually entered the church but unfortunately for us, access to the tower where we could view the entire city was denied because we got there after 3 p.m. I will surely come back to this place for a new vlog and video for you. So we left the church and took tram to our next destination because it wasn't so close as the first two. And then we were finally at the Grosser Garden. That is in English, the Grand Garden. This garden or park is a great place to visit and have a nice natural relaxation. As you can see, some people also wish to ride or drive around it. It is rectangular in shape and covers about 1.8 km square. This was originally established in 1676 and has been a public garden since 1814. The building you are seeing now is a house for many plants and flowers of different species. So we left the garden and we are left with only one place that is our last to visit. And then this was the Blue Wonder Bridge. The Blue Wonder Bridge. It has this name because of its original blue color. The length of this bridge is 280 meters or 920 feet. The river you are seeing down there is one of the most popular rivers in Germany. That is the River Elbe. This bridge was built over this river. Anytime you visit Dresden, you can have a cool boat ride across this bridge yeah, on the River Elbe. And I'm sure it's going to be a very wonderful experience. So it was getting late and so we had to end our trip. All these places we visited were free 
of charge. Yeah, they have free entry. And then we couldn't have ended our trip without visiting the Dresden Neustadt to order some donor and then end our journey. The donor, I tell you, was really good. It was really good, yeah. Thank you for joining me to the end of my birthday vlog. Let's meet in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.